Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Healing Honey, if it's your first time here. So today I wanna to share with you guys how we are more powerful than we think. You are more powerful than you think, <laughs> okay? There are just so many mysteries to life. When we think about it, we're born into this world and we're told what to believe. But how many of us have the time, the energy, or the desire to really discover like for ourselves what life is all about? I've been taking this journey within for a while and life has been revealing certain things to me that I want to share with you guys, bring them into the light and get your take on it, you know, because we hear terms like manifestation, manifesting, we hear about our third eye, we know that everything is energy on earth and there's just so many mysteries to life. Okay, I want to share some weird things that have been happening, let me know your thoughts, you know, basically manifestation and manifesting we can manifest that out of thin air it all starts in our mind our minds are so powerful and your life is a reflection of what's going on inside so we have these eyes right that we can see what we look at in life seeps into our minds and then what's in our minds we reflect out so life is like a huge mirror and that's why i always share with you guys how you want to be so cautious of what you allow to seep into your mind your subconscious mind because your mind is creating your reality literally okay i've been taking a walk at the park right trying to have my me time in the a.m and yesterday I was walking down and I was at the certain part of the park. You want to choose loving thoughts. You want to choose thoughts that serve you. You want to become aware of your thoughts and you can do this through meditation and just self-awareness, being mindful. Because what you focus on and what you think of becomes your reality. I know that this is so popular, but it's just so true. <laughs> I had to come on here and share some crazy things that have been happening. Okay, I was taking a walk at the park and I had this idea, okay? I had a thought and it was a negative thought. It was like, um, there's a hill. I'm walking along the path, right? And then there's this hill of grass. And technically it's a dog park. It's a huge park and people bring their dogs and they run around like in the gated area over there. I thought to myself, what if a dog just ran down this hill and like attacked me? Okay, I know that's a horrible thought, but it's, and that is why we want to become aware of our thoughts. I think we have like over 60,000 thoughts per day, the average human being. And that's why consciously try to choose your thoughts and when a negative one surfaces, replace it with love or dismiss it. Don't focus on it because it can manifest. So it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just something that's been hidden from humanity, our power. Because who's told you that your thoughts are actual things? Your thoughts are literally creating your reality. I kid you not today. Today I went back to the same park. And it's a huge park. I was taking a walk. I was in the exact same place that I was in yesterday. And you will never believe what happened a huge dalmatian dog ran down that exact hill and wasn't on a leash and it felt like it was coming to like attack me okay this is crazy this is not to scare you i was tripped out love over fear when you're in tune animals they pick up on your energy don't be in fear you know, and it did not harm me, but it was the mere fact that I was thinking this exact thing the day before. How did this happen? You guys, our thoughts are things. They go into the universe and they ripple back to you. You are more powerful than you think. We are more powerful than we've been told. I challenge you to try something, okay? Because this happened to me. After the third time it happened to me, I was like, I'm going to tell my, my YouTube fam about this. Like, this is crazy. 
I challenge you to do this. Think of somebody that you haven't thought about in a long time. Just somebody from maybe elementary school, who knows what, an old family member. <laughs> this has happened three times for me. I'll think of somebody will cross my mind and right then and there I'll know, oh, you know what? Maybe they're thinking of me. Why would I randomly think of this person like out the blue, right? But if you hold that thought of someone that you haven't thought of in a long time or anything in your mind for a while, you consciously focus on it. I kid you not, two days later, they will appear in my reality, okay? And so it's really creepy, weird, and cool, okay? This person that I haven't thought of in a long time, haven't heard from in a long time, like I think 11 months, a year, I was thinking of them, and then two days later, they started liking photos like on my Instagram. I was like, that's weird. This other girl that I haven't thought of in a long time, I thought, oh, I wonder how she's doing. Two days later, same thing. She just randomly liked a post on my Instagram. Like, it's always on Instagram that I've been noticing it because of this pattern, right? So to me, it's the universe letting me know, like giving me these little, revealing itself to me, revealing to me our individual power. Okay, and so there's so much that you can do with this information. Not only can you work on consciously creating your reality, but you recognize that we're powerful. We have the power to shift our personal reality and also the world the way that we want. And when we look out into the world, we see how it's always a power grab. <laughs> the institutions on earth and the media, the governments, the authority, everybody wants your power, okay? Your attention, because your thoughts are your focus. Your thoughts are consciousness. We're all conscious beings. God, source, is what is alive in each one of us. Has broken into souls, and that's what you are and what I am. A soul in this body and so the fact that we're alive that we can think and feel and be and co-create our life like this is a gift from our Creator and so you can focus on something and it will manifest into your world and this is a huge secret okay so that happened with the dog that's happened like if you focus on someone they will appear in your real reality. It's like magic out of thin air. <laughs> like several months ago, I was thinking about this specific car, like a Honda Fit and a white one. And I was like looking at the pictures and I was like, Sash, you're not a teenager. Like you don't need a Honda Fit. I'm like, oh, they're cute. I'm like, I could probably drive real fast to one. So I was like looking them up on my phone and then I forgot about it. But I was focused on that specific car for a while. I'll never forget, dude. I came home, I pulled into the driveway, and I looked next to me, and it was not my neighbor's car. It was that white Honda Fit, okay? Out of all of the cars in the universe. And this will happen over and over and over and over. Anybody out there, if you're wanting a new car and you start focusing on it i guarantee you you're gonna start seeing it on the streets like as you're driving you're gonna spot it everywhere yes it's come to your attention but also we're like magnets and we are drawing things into our reality be conscious be aware of your power and also create what you want because you can so a lot of times we think life is happening to us like oh my God, life is happening. But no, it's responding. You have this power within you and you're calling your life into existence. You're working with the universe. And so this is what I wanted to share with you guys. So if you change your thoughts, you can change your life. Okay, so don't listen to anyone who tries to put a limiting belief in your mind. Free your mind of limiting beliefs, okay? Because how you see yourself is what you'll get out of life. You are creating your life through your thoughts. A lot of times we think that the thoughts we're thinking, well, who cares? The words we say, oh, they don't matter. Oh, we're singing along to all this violence or lust or whatever and it doesn't matter. No. 
it gets locked in here and then it's playing out in your life and so we're not victims we're just so powerful and we didn't know it it's hidden so that other entities can siphon our energy siphon our power and use it for their own agenda but when you take your power back when you learn of it you can work with the universe and be intentional it says it in so many scriptures too um, and there's famous quotes about it you know like i think even jesus says like it's done onto you as you believe okay so quite literally it's done onto you as you believe or as a man thinketh so he is or even ask and you shall receive because it gets cool when you when you recognize this and then you start working with god's source and you're like okay, I'm gonna manifest this, I'm gonna create this, I'm gonna draw this into my reality. So just be so mindful, be aware. This is about self-awareness. So that's really what I want to share. We are manifesting constantly, 100% of the time. You are manifesting either consciously or unconsciously. Don't be afraid of your power. You know, like there's really only two emotions. Recently I heard Infinite Waters talk about this and it's so true. Like there's only two emotions, love, or fear okay and so stay in the love frequency because when you awaken to your power it can feel intimidating like because it's been kept secret from us we thought that we had to go through someone else to get to God but we don't we thought we had to listen to this and follow these rules and oh little me oh I don't matter no okay no so step into your power and let me know like what are you going to manifest into your life what are you going to call into your life as you raise your vibration it's gonna come faster it's gonna what you focus on will arrive sooner so focus on what you want focus on the good you know in scripture it also says like place your mind as like focus on things that are pure things that are like healthy loving thoughts compassion, love, love over fear, right? And so because the thoughts will manifest either way, you know, and so the universe doesn't hear your words. It feel it feels your vibration, which is your feelings. So feel good, have faith and trust. That's going to raise your vibration. And then you're going to call things into your life drop me a comment let me know how this video resonated for you i'm sending you so much love so much power so much healing on your journey take care of yourself and i'll see you in my next video bye